Hey everyone, today I'm gonna to tour you through one of Coefficient's newest connectors, Coda.io. With this connector, you can easily pull in a list of your Coda docs, a list of pages within a specific document. Uh, you can dive deeper into tables and then manage your projects from your spreadsheet of choice. So for this example, I'm first gonna go into preview a list of our docs. We can grab the ID and then we can go deeper into the pages. So here I'm gonna go into this marketing one. I'm gonna copy the ID, go back to request, and then change this to list pages, paste in the ID of the doc I want. Um, and then here, we don't really need a couple of these, so I'm just gonna make some adjustments. Um, we will wanna know when it was last updated, sure. Um, who created, or what time it was created by, or created at, pardon me. Um, we don't need to know that, we don't need to know that, that looks good. And then we can just select import, and I'm also going to move this, you can move this here in, perfect, so then the import will be in that order. Now, this will come in handy uh, as an import for when you want to dive deeper into specific tables, and you can just go and grab the ID and use that in another import. Also, uh, if you're wanting to just easily open up this page in a browser, you can just select those URLs there, and you can also keep an eye on when the last time that page was updated. So let's make one more import from Coda. So let's go to our tables, um, and I have that page as well. So we have a couple tables here. Um, and I'm going to choose this development phase one. So I'm going to do the same thing I did last time, select that ID, and I'm going to go back here to import my table. The doc ID has just carried forward, and then I'll just be able to hit refresh. Perfect. And import. And this comes in really handy if you have pages and tables that have a lot of content and you want to be able to do mass updates or give mass direction, anything that's more possible from a spreadsheet rather than what it could be done in the Coda UI. So um, that's it for today, but if you have any questions, let us know. But I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next demo.